<laughs> Good evening, folks. Good evening. Everybody can hear me? Lovely. Um, my name is Barton Darcy, and welcome everybody to the Imperial tonight. Um, on a, I'd like to welcome the members of the Collins family. They've just been out of bail in the law, and everybody else, and distinguished guests here. So, I'm a member of the Irish Volunteers Commemorative Organisation, and myself and Jason here have done a short film called On Ballotour, called The Collector. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that film and what you're about to see. So, um, we worked out earlier on this year, we picked up multiple awards on the film festival circuit, which is good, uh, and you're the first members of the public to see it. So we really want to know what you think of it. But what we do have is one of the items that we're going to be featured in the film, it's about Pat O'Hagan, who is the collector in uh, Belfast. And he's been collecting 1913 to 1923 revolutionary material all of his life. And the film examines the kind of influences that made him do that and what started him off by doing it. And pertinent to tonight, he has a couple of items relevant to Michael Collins. One of them is Michael Collins' army revolver, his Webley 45. And we have a little souvenir to give you tonight. We have a little picture of it with the Providence that you can pick up here. And we have one for everyone in the audience for later on. Now that gun is quite significant because of the date that we have on the Providence. The date is the 6th of January, 1922. And Michael was in Devlin's bar on Parnell Square and he handed it to a musician, Thomas Devlin, who was playing that night, who entertained the man and his guests. And the 6th of January is the evening before the treaty vote in Dáil area. So it's a particular poignant moment in time, and maybe perhaps symbolic, that Michael handed his gun over at that time, as Ireland is moving from, from war into peace. So we also have in the film, and the Pat will be making reference to, it's a Thompson machine gun. So the IRA during the War of Independence were constantly starved of um, uh, guns and ammunition, and Michael Collins is very aware of this, and he was contacted by a clan the Gale member who had financed production of this Thompson machine gun out in the States. So he instructed Harry Boland when he was in the States to make contact there <coughs> and he managed to ship over three prototypes in May 1921. And these were test fired in Dublin and Michael Collins was present, Tom Barry fired them and Richard Mulcahy was there and Gerardo Sullivan was there and they were in the tunnels in the casino in the Marino. And the noise of these machine guns were so loud that a priest came in and told him to keep quiet because people might hear what they were doing on the outside. And they ordered over 600 of them uh, for the IRA. But the FBI uh, found out about this plot and there was a ship called the East Side in New York and there was 500 guns in Panama. Now part of those guns later on went to the FBI and ended up in the Elliot Ness Al Capone a conflict in Chicago. And that's where the Thompson got his nickname, the Chicago typewriter, was at that time. So I just want to um, say as well, when I'm here, it's a deep honor to be here uh, this evening and uh, to be able to present her film here to the public for the first time. And then Mark is uh, here, Marcus Howard, who a lot of you know, he's going to do this, the second film, he's going to introduce it after we do the first, uh, the collective film. And just Finally, and just from the, for the occasion, I would just like to add that 100 years ago tonight, the hope of Ireland resided in this building. And that hope resided in one man, Michael Collins. And that's just something to remember for this night, that we're still in the same building where that hope was. So, Corbyn and Monica, we're going to show you a film and hope you enjoy it.